Disgusting. Hello, people! In this video, we may make you rethink your food choices. Yes, you really won't believe these 11 disgusting things that are legally allowed in your food. So let us move straight into the video without any further ado. The FDA has a Defect Levels Handbook booklet that specifies what floss mass-produced food may have while being considered safe to consume. The handbook details the amount of natural or unavoidable faults in foods that do not pose a health risk to people. It exists because the FDA must draw a line somewhere to ensure that people who consume mass-produced food and ingredients stay safe and healthy. <laughs> Get healthy. <laughs> Before going into the disgusting list, we'd want to point out something essential about the FDA's restriction on these problems. It is a common misconception that the food company needs to keep it below because the FDA has set a defect action level for a food product. However, the defect levels do not indicate an average of all flaws in any goods. The standards are substantially lower. Instead, the amounts indicate the thresholds at which the FDA will consider a food product adulterated and subject it to enforcement action under the Food, Drug, and Cosmetics Act Section 402A3. So, Here's what you've been waiting for. The FDA permits a few disgusting items in your diet, which our list has. Let's look at the FDA's list of acceptable faults and the maximum amount present for it to be declared safe to consume. We warn you that you may never want to eat any of these items again. Number 1. Bug Parts We all live in a world where meals and products are heavily processed. As a result, the FDA permits only a few foods to include actual bugs. However, bug parts? That's a different story. The FDA is aware and approves of genuine insect bits in your food. Ew. Insects are inevitable. It's part of life on Earth. And no matter how hard we try, we can't make everything sterile. According to the FDA guide, heads, legs, and other fragments of these little pests are regularly allowed in cuisine. It appears to be particularly true with spices. Insect pieces, for example, can be found in ground cinnamon. In addition, you've probably ingested at least one pound of red dye throughout your life, thanks to yogurt, maraschino cherries, jams, cakes, and tomato products. That implies you've consumed at least 70,000 cochineal beetles as well. To create the red dye, the insect is crushed. Both crushed and powdered oregano can include insect body parts as well. Insect pieces can also be found in ground marjoram. Disgusting, right? Number 2 is animal poop and animal glands. The scents of vanilla and raspberry may be heightened by castorium, a combination of beaver, anal secretions, and urine. You won't know whether you're eating the FDA-approved food since it's classified as natural flavoring. Consider the defect mammalian excreta, a kind way for the FDA to inform you that your food contains rotten crap. The noxious flaw appears 15 times in the FDA's guide. Mammal feces may be found in fennel seeds, ginger, and maize, a spice similar to nutmeg. Even sesame seeds, wheat, and cocoa beans can contain poop. The listing of other foods in the guidebook becomes more explicit. Poop pellets may be found in a subsample of popcorn, which the FDA allows rats to munch on for a short time. Lanolin agoupi, oily fluid found in sheep's wool, is an FDA-approved chewing gum component. No worries. We'll stop with the animal poop explanations. Number 3 is fish bladders and parasites. You think this is funny? Beer gets its golden color from dried fish bladder. The chemical predominantly used in British brews was given its feature on the BBC. Copepods are a kind of copepod. The FDA says parasite cysts like this are okay in fish up to a certain point. The limit for parasite cysts in freshwater herring is 60 per 100 fish. Well, is it better than numbers 1 and 2 in our list? Right! Number 4. Is Foreign Matters The FDA defines foreign matter as objectionable objects such as twigs, stones, burlap, packing, and even cigarette butts. Full black or white pepper, sesame seed, and maize, a spice akin to nutmeg, are allowed to include some foreign matter. Wendy's chili also contains silicon dioxide, sometimes known as sand or glass powder, which acts as an anti-caking agent. Interesting. Number 5 is Rodent Hair and Pig Skin 
Road and tear like insect pieces are widely found in spices, allspice, paprika, cinnamon, curry powder, and marjoram all include a small amount of rodent hair. Ground sage contains the maximum authorized level of rodent hair with up to 9 hairs per 10 grams of the spice. Ground marjoram can contain up to 8 hairs per 10 grams. Paprika can have 11 strands of hair per 25 grams. And ground capsicum can have up to 6 strands of hair per 25 grams. Only one hair of allspice or nutmeg per 10 grams is permitted. Peanut butter, popcorn, apple butter, chocolate, cocoa powder, corn flour, and macaroni will all include rodent hair. Collagen is the animal connective tissue used to make gelatin. Gelatin is mostly created today from pig skin. Number 6 is Sawdust. <laughs> Shredded cheese contains cellulose, also known as virgin wood pulp or sawdust, because it prevents the shreds from sticking together. Kraft Parmesan cheese contains cellulose as well. The street discovered 15 further businesses that use wood in their products. Meat products containing more than 3.5% cellulose are not nutritionally sound by the USDA regulating meat. Number 7 is Human Hair and Duck Feature. Quack, 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 quack. Mr. Ducksworth. L-cysteine is an amino acid that softens mass-produced bread and is commonly used in dough conditioners. Human hair or duck feathers are used to make it, although human hair makes over 80% of L-cysteine. McDonald's utilizes duck feathers in their baked hot apple pie and warm cinnamon roll. Better luck for your next cravings of a cinnamon roll. Number 8 is maggots. What? A variety of tomato products, including canned tomatoes, tomato juice, and tomato paste, are authorized to include maggots. The FDA considers a sample of brined or maraschino cherries safe as long as no more than 5% of the cherries are rejected. And the reason they are rejected is mostly because of maggots. Canned citrus fruit juice and mushroom can also shockingly include maggots. However, the slight good news is that juice with maggots cannot also contain five or more fly eggs. Number 9 is mites. Avoiding mushrooms can be the best option to prevent these tiny arachnids connected to ticks. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, no. No, no, no! Mushrooms may contain the most number of mites in their canned or dry forms. Frozen broccoli isn't far behind, with up to 60. The good news is that broccoli can only have a maximum of 60 mites, thrips, or arphids. Mites, thrips, and arphid can all be found in canned or frozen spinach, but only if they are in two or more spinach worm larvae longer than 3 millimeters. Number 10 is insect heads. Ew, that's gross! Although the FDA only allows one flaw in thick paste, it is significant for its specificity. Bugheads. According to Life Science, the categorization raises various problems, including where the remainder of the insect is. So how come just the heads are let in? According to the manual, up to 13 bug heads per 100 grams of thick paste are permitted. The heads can enter during the thick harvest, including before, after, and during processing. The FDA's definition of an aesthetic flaw, offensive to the senses, seems especially appropriate in this situation. Finally, number 11 is mold. A problem may be reported as a mix of insects and mold or as insect damage plus mold in rare cases. However, mold can represent a health risk if there is too much of it or specific forms of it in a product, even if it is just regarded as an aesthetic fault. Certain molds create poisons called mycotoxins, which may make people sick. Oh, my stomach. Oh. Allspice, ground red pepper, ground paprika, cocoa beans, and green coffee beans are examples of foods that may contain this mold. Furthermore, the FDA permits up to 5% rotten bay leaves in a sample by weight. Cinnamon bark chunks are the same way. Finally, because of their inclusion in the guidebook, canned and frozen peaches deserve a particular place in our hearts. According to the FDA, up to 3% of the fruit might be wormy or moldy. Alas, did we make you rethink your eating choices? What do you guys think about these 11 disgusting things that are legally allowed in your food? Let's talk about it in the comment section. Don't miss out on liking our videos either. Until next time, bye!